plus than 10 the Pythagorean theorem. All right, the Pythagorean theorem is a way, um, a formula of sorts that we will use in order to find missing sides of a right triangle. All right, um, it only works with right triangles. All right, it's used to find the missing sides of a right triangle. Okay, here's the formula. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, and on our right triangle, the c side is always the hypotenuse. All right, and the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. A and B are interchangeable, okay, so it doesn't matter which one is A, which one is B, as long as C is always the hypotenuse. All right, so if we're given side A and we're given side B of a right triangle, we can use that to find the measure of side C. And we're going to look at some examples of how to do that. All right, the first example is in this triangle here. We're given A, 4, and 7. All right, we want to start off first of all by just go ahead and writing down our formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, now we know that C, the side C is always the hypotenuse, and in this case the hypotenuse is 7. So we're going to replace C with 7. Remember A and B are interchangeable. We're going to go ahead and keep A as A in order to avoid confusion, and side B is going to be 4. All right, so we just substituted into our formula, and now we can solve. A squared plus 4 squared. Well, 4 squared, we know, is 16, is equal to 7 squared, and 7 squared is 49. We're solving just like a regular equation. We want to get that variable by itself. In order to do that, we're going to subtract 16 from both sides. A squared is equal to 33. And how do we undo a square? Well, we take the square root. So A is equal to root 33, and you can leave it as that. Now, if it is a perfect square, go ahead and solve it out, all right? But since it's, it doesn't work out to be a perfect square, we can just leave it as A equals root 33, all right? That is the Pythagorean theorem used to solve for missing sides of right triangle. Now, we can also use it to find the distance between two points, all right? For example, in this problem, we're using the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between the points 4, 2, and negative 3, 4. The first thing you want to do is graph the point. All right, so we're going to go ahead and draw our coordinate plane. We're going to graph the point 4, 2, and negative 3, 4. Okay, and then step two, we want to make a right triangle. Now, the hypotenuse of the right triangle is going to be the distance between these two points. All right, so that is side C. Now, this one was at 4, and this one was at 2. So we're just going to make lines to connect and form our right triangle. And then we've got to find our missing sides. Well, if this is at negative 3, 4, and this point here is at 4, 2, we're comparing distances. So from this point to this point, on the x-axis is how many points? Well, we're going from 4 to negative 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this side length is 7. All right, and then we're looking at our y-axis. We're going from 4 to 2. Well, from 2 up to 4 is 1, 2. So this side length is 2. There we've made our right triangle, and we can use that to solve using the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so we're going to 
plug that into our Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we're looking for that side C squared. Right? Um, I'm going to call A 2. So we have 2 squared. B then will be 7. And it's equal to C squared. And we just solve for C. 2 squared is 4. 7 squared is 49. 4 plus 49 is 53. Since it's not a perfect square, C is going to be equal to just root 53. And that is our final answer. I'm going to put one more example of a triangle on the board for you. I want you to go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing sides of this right triangle. Theorem, you're going to solve for the missing side of this triangle, and we'll come back and check it in class.